Reminders of Stalin. ISW explains why Putin constantly changes military leadership. Russian President Vladimir Putin did not appoint a single commander of troops at the beginning of a full-scale invasion of Ukraine because he hoped for a quick victory, which he wanted to attribute to himself. Later, the Russian dictator began to constantly change the military leadership of the Russian Federation, thus trying to shift the responsibility for the failures in Ukraine to the appointed generals. US-based Institute for the Study of War ISW analysts delve into the changes in the Russian military command from the 24th of February 2022. Putin may have been reluctant to appoint a commander for this invasion to avoid crediting a military commander with the military victory in Ukraine. A dynamic similar to the one between Soviet leader Joseph Stalin and Marshal of the Soviet Union Georgi Zhukov during World War II. Stalin had limited and outdated wartime experience and was reportedly jealous of Zhukov's military exploits and fame. Putin has no military experience, which may have further contributed to his decision not to appoint a commander for his invasion who could have upstaged him by claiming credit for the expected dramatic victory. The ISW added, Putin likely sought to present himself as the commander-in-chief and mastermind of the successful invasion of Ukraine, analysts said. According to intercepted Russian military plans, the Kremlin expected Kyiv to be captured in a matter of days. So Putin wanted to declare this imminent invasion a personal geopolitical victory. Analysts believe that Putin's reluctance to appoint a combined arms theater commander for his invasion of Ukraine had cascading consequences for the Russian military. In particular, such actions contributed to intensive fractionalization, disorganization of command structures and fueled unattainable expectations. Putin appointed the first commander of the theater of war, Army General Alexander Dvornikov, in April 2022. It was a response to Russia's failed attempt to attack Kyiv. But at the end of May, Putin replaced this general because of Dvornikov's inability to meet the high expectations of the Russian dictator in the first months after the retreat from Kyiv. Consequently, Putin began to change military leaders constantly. Analysts believe that such a regular change of command has led to an increasing fragmentation of the Russian armed forces and disorganization of command structure, which further worsens the ability of the Russian armed forces to conduct a coordinated campaign in Ukraine. It is also noted that the Russian Ministry of Defense and the Kremlin deliberately do not report most of these command changes.